the how are you can you tell me your name hi guys i'm sucking on jolly rancher because i feel nauseous and i'm not taking my medicine yet today because the nausea's not too bad so no one asked but there you go there's that information a really exciting news you guys okay i have therapy in two minutes so i can't talk about this long. i'll talk about it more later but i felt one of the babies kick kickity kick and I am so excited. I think I felt it once before. Once you've been pregnant, you know what that feels like. The first time you're pregnant, you're kind of like, was it a kick? Was it a kick? I don't know. Was it a kick? And then once you felt it and you feel it for a long time, then you know what it feels like. And so I think I felt it a few days ago, but it was like more of like a little flutter. And I was like, I think that was a baby, but I wasn't sure. Last night, it was a kick. I almost cried. It was so exciting. So I'll talk about it in a little bit. I'm therapy right now. Yeah, so I'll talk to you after therapy. I found my camera. Therapy was eye-opening, shocking. I just cut my finger. So bad. I was making myself another chicken salad sandwich croissant. Highly recommend, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it because it was like, like you have to try it. It was so good. Maybe I'm just pregnant, but it was very good. But I wanted half a croissant. So I was holding the croissant in my hand cutting it with a very sharp serrated knife and slice his finger just straight across. It's already bleeding through the bandit. I just put his bandit on. I got my tita. I got the bandit. I got a bandit. He calls it bandits, not band-aids, bandits. And Nurse Mary's coming soon. He loves Nurse Mary. My nurse is amazing and he loves her so much. She always brings him like a little present or a little candy. She loves him. What'd you find? A dump truck. A dump truck? They all friends? They all friends. Okay. All day long. Dump trucks, bulldozers, excavators, crane trucks. All day long. That's all we do. Play trucks all day, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah? Get your hand. Get my hand? Me, 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 me. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> all right, I want to eat my sandwich. Can we go in the other room? Okay, I'm going in the other room because I want to eat my sandwich. Just got my IV. So, yes, I felt the baby, one of the babies, kick last night. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't wait to feel it more. <laughs> I know it's gonna get crazy. Like when, F I remember Flynn like never stopped kicking. It was just 24 seven. He was always just rolling around and jumping and kicking in there. I know with two babies, it's gonna be wild. But I like it cause it's a reminder that like they're there and they're okay. I really liked it. And I'm like, do it again, babies, do it again. I wanna feel you again. But it was so exciting to feel one of them kick me. I loved it so much. Okay, and then therapy was really good today. We're working on a lot of things. One of the things we're working on is trying to help me learn how to be kind to myself when I have feelings. <laughs> that sounds weird, but basically like whenever I have any feeling, sadness or anger or just if I'm ever feeling down on myself, it's like I immediately kind of beat myself up for feeling down. This voice in me, the second I am sad or anything, I'm like, how dare you feel sad? There's people who have it way worse than you. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, snap out of it. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I kind of bully myself if I ever have feelings. <laughs> so we're kind of working on that. And I'm trying to learn how to like be compassionate with myself if I have feelings instead of like bullying myself when I have feelings. We're just kind of talking about my past and um, past relationships and things that have influenced how I think about myself. It was just very eye-opening conversation and emotional. I don't know guys, human beings have a lot of damage. <laughs> Sometimes I have to like face the facts and realize like I'm a little damaged and that's okay. Yeah, it was it was good is what I'm trying to say. Therapy was good and eye-opening. I have a lot of work to do today. I'm really craving crab. Hopefully I can make that happen. <laughs> I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna quickly show you the most delectable summer refreshing chicken salad sandwich that I love. You might not like it, but I love it and Eric loves it. I'm making it in the container that we already had chicken salad in. You start off with some chicken. It doesn't look appetizing, but we just buy a rotisserie chicken and we use all the white meat from the rotisserie chicken. I'd say it's like two cups of chicken, cube it, slice it, but you can use any kind of chicken, whatever. About a cup of sliced celery. I make it in the container we're gonna keep it in because it's just less dishes. I'm wasting dishes by putting it all in here, but anyway, this is probably Probably a cup and a half of sliced grapes. These are black or like purple grapes. Delicious. Dump those in. I like a lot of grapes, but some people don't like, Eric doesn't really like a lot of grapes, so you can change this to however much you like, but I like a lot of grapes. I want mostly grapes. Next, you want slivered almonds. We only have sliced almonds. Right now I'm using unsalted and toasted, but I usually toast them myself. You just add a little crunch to the salad and you kind of just put in however much you want. So I don't know. 
looks like enough. Those are like the main ingredients. Now this is gonna sound weird, but I promise you it's good, I promise. Now I add mayo, I know, weird. Mayo and grapes, like get a life, that sounds disgusting. Just trust the process. I don't know what's happening upstairs right now. I think there's a race up happening. There's a car race upstairs. I don't know the exact amount. I'm just gonna squirt it in there. Probably mm, half a cup. And I also put in mustard again, you don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, maybe like an eighth of a cup. But then you just add as you go. That's like kind of what I should start with. Mix it all together. If it looks really dry, add more mayo. I have added avocado to this in the past. I've added lemon juice to this in the past. It's really good. But it's just a really nice, refreshing, delicious summer chicken salad. And it's nice just in the fridge. And then you can make sandwiches or wraps with it. Or you can just eat it plain, like with a spoon. So like sometimes when I'm like, hmm, I need a little bite of protein, I can just like get a spoon and just take a spoon. That looks actually pretty good. I don't know that I'm gonna need to add more. So you also wanna add some salt and pepper to this. Get some pepper. I don't know how much, just how much you like. Get some salt. Again, just kind of like put it in and be like, that looks good. Stir it up again. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Doesn't look appetizing, but I swear to you, it's so freaking delicious. It's good by itself. Like, I'm gonna take a bite right now. I might have put too much celery in it, to be honest. You just eyeball it and put in it however much you want. It's kind of weird. Mm, too much mustard, too. Less than the amount of mustard that I told you. Don't do that much. Oh, it's so good. No, I'm too tall in the fridge, but this is the most important part. Get croissants, like fresh croissants from like your bakery or grocery store. Cut them in half. Don't slice your finger like I did today. And toast them in like a frying pan with butter so like they're like buttery and crunchy. You put the chicken salad on that, like some more mayo, mustard, whatever toppings you like, lettuce, tomato, avocado. I just do this and I sometimes add avocado. It's so good. And maybe I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like people are gonna watch this and be like, that's disgusting, you put mayo and mustard on grapes. But I'm telling you, like the combination of it all is so freaking good. Go make it, I gotta put my kid to bed, try it out, it's really good. Baby bump of the day, baby bump of the day, baby bump of the day. There's a baby bump of the day. Or is it a baby's bump? Cause there's two, I felt one of the babies kicking in. With Flynn, I remember feeling a flutter around like 60 or 70, maybe 17 weeks, I don't really remember. But I didn't know what it was and I wasn't sure if it was gas or if it was him. Now I know for sure like what it feels like. And I remember feeling it and a few days later I'd feel it and then I'd feel it. That is the biggest fly I have ever seen in my life. That's bigger than a bee. Is that a fly? You guys, I'm like scared to move the camera because I don't want to scare it away, but like I've never seen a fly this big, okay. You cannot tell in this camera, but I'm telling you that is the biggest fly I've ever seen in my life. It is bigger than a bee. Ew, I hate that fly. I don't remember what I was talking about, but love you, look at this. Please look at this. It's a fly. That's the biggest fly I've ever seen in my life. What's his name? Mother <laughs> <laughs> What do you want me to do? You gotta get the zapper. Look, look how big that fly is. I'll hit it with one of your ukuleles. I was just thinking you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> this seems too aggressive. Yeah, Where'd it I go? Like it. I feel like it got it. Wait, why didn't it fly? <laughs> What's that? Was that fly broken? Do you want to be in here for my outro? What's an outro? Just like I'm just chatting about things. Is that what you're always doing? Yeah. I thought you were I was just talking, about talking how, to yourself. Well, that too. I was just talking about how I felt the babies. Yeah, that's crazy. So exciting. And with Flynn, I didn't know if it was him or if it was Gas or what, but this time it was like very obvious. Like yeah, I knew what now, it was. Now you know. I know what right? it feels like, yeah. I imagine if there's two in there, I'm gonna feel there's more? less room that like, I don't know, that you would feel, because it's, it's, it's only the circumference of like what they're yeah. in, like so it would, you would feel it. Yeah, I oh, know, it was very exciting. Oh, was? I feel like I killed that fly. I don't know where it went. It was huge. It wasn't, like it, tomorrow or it wasn't like a, it didn't go out with a bang, but with a whimper. Do you like my fun. tumbler? I like that you actually use this constantly all day. Like yeah. you actually like it. I like it. Cause it says like Flynn says. And I was about to tell them that no, you're- good. I like the matte yeah, it's cool. finish. Um, I was about to tell them your parents are going to come visit. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll be vlogging when they're here. If I do, it probably won't be very much. Cause I don't know that they would be like comfortable being on camera like Eric. I know Eric loves it. Yeah, I get it from them. <laughs> um, so they're coming next week, which is very, very exciting. I just give like updates on life and things. What? I'm talking to the camera. You just give updates? Yeah, I'm like talking. Well, it was you... non sequitur though. You were just like talking about something and then all of a sudden you were like, I... Yeah, I'm explaining to you what I'm doing. Oh, okay.
I like I'm talking like I'm updating like on my life. I've never been in here before. What is all this stuff? What's that? Mama, what's that? Oh my god. Mom, watch. You need to put it on upside down. That's not a good fun impression. That's true. Why does he think every <laughs> he pair of glasses- He only puts sunglasses on upside down. <laughs> to his logic, what yeah, is that? I don't know. Every pair of glasses- I will wrong. say, my son has a really good Miranda Sings impression. It's better than mine. He, oh, did you see the new art? The new artwork on the wall? It's actually really great. Isn't that Whoa. good? You're talking about there's this a, one specific yeah, image, right? Yeah, there's this one on the wall that's- ah. We just got it in the mail, it's so good. Whoa. They painted it, but they painted Flynn's face censored. Whoa. Isn't that great? I love that that's on your wall, but also like I want to frame it. I know, isn't it so good? This is kind of great too, I love that. That's been there for like six years. It's weird, it's not even hard to notice it. Really? I don't know, I feel like it's been yeah, there for Yeah, that's so good, whoever did that. so good. Did you say? You, good job. Good job. Isn't this amazing? It's a painting. That's so it's, good. It's so good. Well, how do you paint Sunset? Pixelized. It's just, well, pixelized, it's just like blocks well, yeah, of color. I understand that, but I just, I'm just saying. It's very good. When I was in high school, I tried to get an honors art painting and it didn't, like, I had to do a painting and I didn't get it. But I was saying this person got it for sure. Yeah. Like, that's so good. Update on Flynn. We have entered the night light phase. So last night, every time I went into his room, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you know that he woke up like a hundred times. It was because I had turned his night light off because I thought the light would wake him up. And the fact that I turned it off woke him up because he was having issues the last week. Like he'd be like, something scary in you? He would like ask me that question. And I'd be like, there's nothing scary in here. And I'd turn on my phone flashlight to show him. He, just, he wouldn't say what was scaring him, but he would just say something scary in here. I remember that I have this nightlight for him in the bathroom. So I was like, I'll put it in his actual bedroom. And I plugged it in and he loves it. And he says, it's not scary anymore. He like loves it. And so that's the newest development with Flynn. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm very tired. Yeah, my parents are coming this weekend and then Eric's parents are coming next week. I'm very excited to see them. We haven't seen Eric's parents in over a year. So it'll be really, really good to see them. And I'm out of breath and tired and pregnant. I'm just gonna go. I feel like I had something to tell you, but I don't remember what it was. So I'm gonna go. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.